Okay, so now we're getting into some problems where we want to find just the equation only. We don't need to do the, the graph. So they're going to give you some information like this, and you're going to use that in order to find the equation. So the best thing to do with problems like this would be to plot the information that's provided. So I'm going to plot this over here. I have foci 0 plus or minus 1, so I have that. Those are my two foci, and they give you the vertices also. So I go up 4 and down 4. So what this tells me, it tells me first of all that my ellipse is opening up and down, so now it's going to go in the y direction. What I also know about that is that I know the center. I know the center because the center is always halfway between the foci and halfway between the vertices. So 0, 0 is going to be right here. Okay, so now I, now I have that piece of information. So I know from the picture, I know that I can just go ahead and put center is going to be 0, 0. Now here's some other information that's provided. The distance from the vertice to the center down below, that's your A value. That's the different distance from the center uh, to a vertice, that's always A, and same distance from here down there. Both of them are going to be 4. I also know this little distance here, this is the C value. The C value is the distance from the center to the foci. So based on this, I have center is 0, 0. I know my A value is equal to 4, and my C value is equal to 1. So now I have that piece of information. Uh, what, what base formula are we going to start with? Well, I want to find a, a formula for an ellipse that's centered at 0, 0 that opens up and down. That's the one I want to use based on the information provided. And if I do that, here is the formula itself. Now, the A value has got to be underneath the, the Y term because it's opening in the Y direction. So because it opens up and down, A has to go underneath the Y. So this is my base formula I'm starting with. Now, I have the A value, but I don't have the, the B squared value. I want to find that. So in order to do that, I want to use the formula that we talked about before. C is equal to the square root of A squared minus B squared. I'm going to start with this, and I, I'm going to fill in the information that's provided. They give me the C and the A value. C is 1, and A is 4. So I just need to substitute, substitute the information in the formula, and I'm going to use this to solve for B squared, because B squared is actually the part of the formula I still need to find yet. Okay, so I have 1 equals the square root of 16 minus b squared. And then I'm going to square both sides there. So I get 1 equals 16 minus b squared. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. Negative 15 equals negative b squared. Or uh, when I cancel out the negative, I get b squared is equal to positive 15. So now I have the part of the formula that I can fill in uh, to get this. So this is the base formula I'm starting with. B squared, I already solved for that already, and I got 15 for that one. Now the A is 4, and if I take 4 squared, I get 16. So this right here would be the answer to the question. Uh, they want to know the equation for the ellipse that has these pieces of information. So again, I found that by looking at your plot. We can read a bunch of values off of that. We solve here for b squared. Now again, uh, what I should mention here is you don't need to actually solve for b itself because the formula only requires you to have b squared. So that's why I just did, I just solved for b squared only and I got 15, put that in there and then uh, you know a squared is going to be 4 squared or 16 there. So that's the answer to the problem.